guys, so I finally got around to doing a favorites video for you. So, um, yeah, I'm filming in my bathroom right now, and she will not leave me alone. She wants to play with all the makeup that I have laid out on the floor, and it's really annoying. So she needs to go elsewhere. But yeah, so let's get started. So my favorite primer would have to be the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BDB Cream, and I am in the color Deep. It says it, four beautifying actions in one, primes, perfects, hydrates, and corrects. I wouldn't really say that it hydrates or corrects any colors, but I mean, I like it. It's kind of, um, has like a shimmer in it, so it makes your, I really like the really luminous, um, foundation look, so this kind of helps add to that, but I mean, yeah, I'm not really a big primer person, but when I do wear a primer, it's usually this one. Next is my favorite foundation, and that would have to be <laughs> her tail. <laughs> Next is my favorite foundation, and it would have to be um, L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi. And um, I really like, first of all, that it has a pump, so you can control like how much product you're getting. And also, um, I just like that it's really luminous. It looks really natural. Um, especially in the summertime, but I wear this throughout the whole year. So my favorite concealer would have to be the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. Um, this concealer is really creamy. It's not thick or heavy feeling, but it covers everything. And I really like it because it's only like $5 at Ulta. So yeah, if you have NYX being sold around you, you should definitely try this because it's a really good concealer. I heard, I've never tried it, but the I've heard that the NARS creamy concealer this is like a really good dupe for it so if you want to check that out next is my favorite powder I mean this okay so I'm not really that much of a powder person I rarely use powder because like I said I like the luminous look and I don't really like cakey feeling like dry I have really dry skin so I feel like when I wear powder it makes my skin really dry but um I really like this powder for contouring when I don't want to use like a high end or if I don't have a high end <coughs> excuse me bronzer with me. Um, I really like this one. It's the Revlon Nearly Naked and this one is in medium deep and I am pretty tan and I can use this for contouring. And I really like this because it's seriously oh my god, it's it's just so fine. It feels like it's like flour. So it really feels like super light on your skin. I mean, I guess that's why they call it nearly naked, but it definitely stays true to its name. For my favorite contour, well, bronzers. I don't usually use bronzers, like, all over my face, um, but I do use them for contouring. And my first favorite is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep, and it's a matte bronzer. And it just looks like this. I love this bronzer because it just blends really beautifully and plus smells like chocolate and it actually tastes like chocolate. I know that sounds weird, but I heard, oh, that's really cute. That's super cute. Oh, sweet. Anyway, so yeah, I just really like this bronzer and it smells really good. Hmm. Next for contouring is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I really like this because it has a whole bunch of different colors. So if I'm doing other people's makeup, I can use this as well. But um, I mostly use this one and I believe, I'm not sure which one this is called. I don't know. But I usually use this one and then I use this. And I know this one's called Banana. And I use that to set under my eyes because I do put powder under my um, eyes when I put concealer on so it doesn't get all creasy and gross. She will not leave me alone. Okay, so my favorite highlighters. First, I'll start with NARS. That's the wrong one. NARS Albatross, and it's just a really pretty, um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but it looks white, but it's just a really pretty like gold color and it gives you like a really pretty just gold sheen. And my other one is MAC 
soft and gentle and this one's more of like a champagne pinky color so really these I have other ones but honestly if you just buy these two highlighters I feel like you wouldn't have to buy another highlighter because this one's more in like the pinky cool tone and this is more for like warm tone warm tone gold and so I feel like if you have these two then you don't really need any other ones Next is my favorite eyeshadows, and hands down these are my favorite eyeshadows. I really don't use any other eyeshadows besides these because I don't really experiment that much with eyeshadows, but it's the OG Naked Palette. Please don't look at my nails, they're disgusting. But um, yeah, it's just, it has some matte colors which I really use, even though it doesn't look like it, but I really use the Naked in the Buck for like every day but I don't know I just really like these colors and I don't really see myself needing any other ones but yeah these are my favorite eyeshadows next is oh I probably should have did this before but the my favorite eyeshadow primer is obviously the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion um it's just the best and I really honestly actually I can't really say that it's the best because I haven't really tried any other ones besides like the elf one which eh, this one is just my favorite and I probably will never try it. actually no I'm lying because I have tried the um Mac what is this Mac paint pot and groundwork and it's like a colored cream color base ew and it looks so gross this probably needs to be thrown out. I don't know if this around here is that healthy, but yeah, these work pretty good too, but I definitely would have to say, I definitely would have to say that the Urban Decay is my favorite. Next is, I love these, I just actually got these, so I guess I can't really say that they're my favorite because I haven't used them that much, but as soon as I used them, I fell in love with them, and they're the NYX um, Ultra Pearl Mania Pigments. And, excuse me, these are like $2, I believe, and they're so pigmented and glitter, not glittery, but shimmery, and so beautiful, especially if you put a little bit of like water or eye drops on your brush and then just put it on. They, you literally only have to apply it once. It stays on all night. You don't have to layer it. They're just really nice, especially for $2. You can't really beat it. Next is my favorite eyeliner, and this would have to be the Essence Eyeliner Pen Waterproof, and this too is like $5 from Ulta, but I really like this because it has a really fine tip, and it's really easy for me to just do my wing, and it's really easy. I don't really like to use liquid because I find that it's hard. I can't get away from it. Yo, don't you got something to do? Okay, well, I guess she's just going to be chilling here. But, okay. Nexty, nexty is mascaras. So, my favorite um, mascara combo that I've been doing lately is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And then I put the Benefit Their Real on top of it. And I really like this because it, these, this mascara really lengthens your eyelashes. And then this one is just my favorite mascara of all time. If I had to pick one, this is definitely what I would pick because it stays on. You can literally, it's hard to wash off, but you could literally go swimming with this and it'll stay on. Keeps your eyelashes curled all day, which is my biggest pet peeve. I curl my eyelashes probably 100 times a day. They need to be curled right now. But... With this, I see myself not having to co curl them as often as I usually would. So I really like that. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. The um, Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer is also one of my favorite concealers for covering up like um, blemishes and stuff like that. It is really heavy. You literally only have to use like that much and it'll like cover a whole entire area but yeah this too you can get it at, I think I got this at Walmart it's kind of ratchet because I lost the top 
It's probably not sanitary, but... Ugh! Why is this happening to me? Whatever. I'm just gonna have lipstick on my teeth, I guess, because I'm not screwing with it anymore. Sweet. Oh, I don't have it anymore. Okay, anyway. <coughs> Lastly, for eyes, I wanted to put in this. It's really dirty and gross right now, and it's not really that pretty, but my favorite eyelash curler is the Trim Eyelash Curler, and I believe this is like $2 also at Walmart. And it's seriously awesome. Like, it's just the best eyelash curler I have ever used and I've used more expensive ones too and this one is just bomb.com girl I'm telling you so yeah two dollars you really can't beat it and I've been using this for seriously like six years also I know that I say seriously literally and like all the time so please don't comment and say that I need to not because I know that I'm trying but it's probably never gonna happen it's just it's born this way okay so lip products my favorite um lip liners would have to be actually I don't know why I put that one in there that one's not that good my favorite lip liner is the MAC Spice and I like this lip liner to wear just this, especially in the fall time. It's really pretty. But um, other than that, I'm not really picky because I usually put something on top of it. So um, yeah, if I'm going to wear a lip liner all by itself, then I pick this one. Otherwise, it's just whatever I have in my drawer. So I did my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses by Season. So, ooh. And then also I did my favorite nude. So I'll start with that. My favorite, when I want to have a nude lip, I always use the um, Revlon Soft Nude. It's just a neutral, like, nude color. And then I usually put the um, NARS Strip Tease on top of it. It's just really pretty. Um, I've used, like, the MAC Angel and Cream Cup and things like that, but I definitely always gravitate towards the Revlon Soft Nude. It's definitely the best one for me. Okay, as for, I guess I'll start with winter lip because it's winter. It's below zero outside my apartment right now. So, where is it? Okay, it's what I'm wearing right now. It's the MAC Rebel. And I just love this because it just makes you look so made up. And it's so pretty and bold and you can really build it. I mean, I only have like a small or a thin layer on right now, so it's more of like a purpley color. But you can build this to be an almost like a purple black color, which I think is really beautiful also. Okay, next is my favorite like spring summertime um, lip. And that would have to be the MAC Shy Girl. Which is kind of like the soft nude now that I look at it. But it's more of like a corally color in person. You can't really tell on here. But it's just really pretty. I always usually like to wear a nude if I'm not wearing a dark, bold color anyways. So I really like this color. And then I usually top it with the um, MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass in Ready or Not. And I really like these because they're really sticky and they stay on all day. I know some people don't really like sticky lip glosses, but I love them because I don't like, because I'm a person that always rubs their lips together like like this all the time and my lip gloss just comes off. So I really like this one because it's sticky and it doesn't come off. Okay. Fall lip color would definitely have to be, I have two different ones. Um, the first one is the MAC, and I'm sorry that most of these lipsticks are MAC. And I don't really have any dupes for them, like, drugstore-wise. But MAC lipsticks are really just awesome, and I love them. But um, I'm sure that you could find dupes for each color at the drugstore. I just don't have them with me. But if I do find any, I'll definitely let you guys know. But my fall color is the MAC Viva Glam 2. 
and it's just like a, um, I don't even, maybe like a mauve taupey color, and it's not really a nude, it's like a, let's say like a mocha color, and this is really pretty, I love to pair this with spice in the fall time, it's my, definitely my favorite go-to lip color, and then for a lip color that I want something on my lips, but I don't want to really fuss with it at all during the day, I go towards the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi, and it's pretty much the same color as the Viva Glam 2, but it smells like frosting, it smells so good, but this stays on all day because it's you don't feel like you have anything on your lips, and it's really pretty, so I really like that. Are we done? Okay, I guess we're done. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and comment below to give me ideas on what you want to see next. But otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Got Malaysian, got that yaki, that wavy Brazilian. Them uh. peaches thirsty. Rock, rock, I'm Hungarian. Rock, rock, rock. Nikki BB.